Hank Hawkeye Higgins wasn't your typical Ghostbuster. Sure, he drove a tricked-out Dakota truck that could navigate the twistiest mountain roads with ease, and yes, the iconic red and white no ghosts symbol drawn with a sharpie on his door practically pulsed with supernatural anticipation. But Hawkeye wasn't interested in chasing proton-wielding apparitions through crumbling libraries or battling slime-covered Gazarian gozers. His quarry was far more down-to-earth, albeit just as spooky. Hawkeye was a creature hunter. Not the kind who stalked Yeti in the Himalayas or chased chupacombras in the desert. No. Hawkeye's targets were the things that lurked in the shadows of his own backyard, the yowling swamp things, the mischievous gnomes pilfering his tools, and the territorial shadow beasts with an unhealthy appetite for livestock. He'd inherited the family business from his grandpa, a grizzled mountain man who swore the Ozarks were crawling with critters that went bump in the night, and sometimes snatched your chickens. Hawkeye, raised on tales of grumpy hot dags and mischievous wood sprites, took over the reins with gusto. He tinkered with his truck, transforming it into a ghost hunting arsenal on wheels, complete with floodlights, EMF detectors, and a net launcher repurposed from an old potato cannon, surprisingly effective against rogue poltergeists. His days were a whirlwind of monster hunting misadventures. One morning, he might be coaxing a mischievous will-o'-the-wisp out of his cornfield with a mason jar of fireflies. The next, he'd be setting up a trail of moonlit pancakes to lure a grumpy hodag out of its daytime slumber, apparently, they had a sweet tooth. He even developed a begrudging partnership with a local witch named Mildred, whose herbal concoctions could banish even the most stubborn swampgeist, though they smelled suspiciously like old gym socks. Hawkeye's Ghostbusters emblem wasn't just a decal, it was a badge of honor, a symbol of his dedication to keeping the Ozarks weird and wonderful, but safe for the occasional lost hiker or spooked cow. He wasn't chasing phantoms and crumbling skyscrapers, he was protecting his home turf, one grumpy gnome and mischievous swamp critter at a time. And in the end, that's what made Hawkeye Higgins a Ghostbuster of a different breed, a defender of the down-home paranormal, a wrangler of Ozark oddities, and the undisputed king of all things creepy and crawly in the foothills of the Ozarks. So, the next time you hear Banjo Twangman in the misty Ozark Hills, followed by the unmistakable rumble of a tricked-out Dakota truck, don't be alarmed. It's just Hawkeye Higgins, on his nightly patrol, making sure the ghosts, ghouls, and grumpy hot dags know who's boss in these neck of the woods. And who knows, maybe he'll even tell you a tale or two by the firelight, tales of Ozark oddities and the adventures of a ghostbuster with a Stetson and a shotgun. Just don't ask him about the time he tangled with a possum wearing a tutu. That's a story for another time.